What's up guys? Today, we're going to be showing you some Pokemon Go videos as well as a pack opening. So let's open up the pack right now. So, um, I used to love Pokemon when I was like seven. So, to bring back some old memories, I thought why not just get a pack to open for you guys too. So, okay, wait, something happened. I don't remember what these, it's just like a flip, coin flip. Oh, okay. Um, so we get a Ghastly. Comment down below if you have a Ghastly in the card form or in Pokemon Go. Now, I don't know how well I can open this. And now someone told me there's like this thing where you go like, like I need to put the, the code away. Actually, you know what? Here's a code. If anyone wants it, I don't, I'm not really going to be using it. Um, I said like do three like that. You put like three there. Oh shit! I just think I revealed something. All right, first one. Lucario. I, I guess that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. Oh my god! Wait, why am I opening it? That? Okay. That. A shuckle. That's not even in the game yet. Let's see if we can get something in the game. <laughs> that, was, that was a trainer. No. 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 Oh, I didn't even show you half the car. Um. I'm prepared for this. Uh, yeah, so we got these three. Boop. Yeah, sorry the, um, camera's cruddy right now. But yeah, that, that was the, uh, card pack opening. So now I'm going to show you the best spots to find some Pokemon. Okay, guys. So now... Here we go. So, as you can see, I have a Clefable. And um, you can find them everywhere. Go to cities. Cities. Holy shit. I was in um, San Francisco, Seattle, Monterey. Holy shit. And airports. Um, guys, I'm going to be showing. I think I had a few pictures of how much Pokestops there were in these cities. But um, as you can see on the screen, Claire. Clefable. Um, I got an Aerodactyl as well, except you can see how bad it is. That's my luck in this game. Um, I got Cubones, which are really cool. Really cool. I got Dratini's, Ekans. Get them in San Francisco. They're there. I'm telling you. I just wish these Pokemon. See, like, I have all these Pokemon cards just, like, laying here now. And I just wish some of them were from the modern day game. You know? Um, oh, here's the Ghastly. Wait, wait, where is the Ghastly? Bring them up. Let's bring them up, boys. Do you see the resemblance? Yeah. Okay. So that's ghastly. Um. But yeah, honestly, guys, the whole point of this video was to let you know, just go to really populated areas at a safe time. Okay. There's been a lot of stories. Look them up. Pokemon Go can be very social, interactive, make new friends. At the same time, if you go out at it, um. At a um unfamiliar hour to most people, you can end up in some sticky situations. So um, I'm just gonna keep scrolling down. I'm gonna show you guys if I got anything else new. I actually pulled a magmar and an egg in Seattle too. I got the egg from Seattle. Go to cities, man. I was gonna go to Central Park, but I'm out of data. So I, there's no point in driving there and then being like, I can only play for five minutes. Data problems. Um, I also caught that Pidgeot 707. That, that was pretty cool. I caught him. Omanite. Hopefully I said that right. But, um, yeah, guys, seriously. Comment down your decks below. Hashtag Team Valor. Hashtag. No hashtag. If you want hashtag, hashtag. I'm probably going to hashtag it on uh, Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter. Um, so, yeah. Team Valor for the win. Send me your squads. Show me everything you got. Hopefully you guys are in the, doing pretty well in this game. I think they're coming out with an update soon. Um, so if you are going to send me something, guys, go to Combat Power, send me your top six, and that's pretty much your actual squad. So that's going to wrap up this episode of Pokemon Go. Hope you guys enjoyed the pack opening, which is <laughs> okay. It was okay. And then um, the information I had about the cities and like where to go for Pokestops and like to get the most Pokemon because... In airports, they have a bunch of lures because you're waiting there. It's insane.
Like, there were literally spots where there were five Pokestops and everyone had a lore on it. And I was like, oh, I'll sit there for a little bit. I call it, like, I don't know, Pidgeys. Alright, peace out, guys.